Hey everybody, welcome back to the video. I'm so glad that you're here to spend some time with me today. We are going to do a recommended or suggested video. I'm sorry, I can't recall exactly who suggested it. I just, I know it's someone who comments a lot. So if it's you, make yourself be known down below in the comments video. I hope this uh, is what you were looking for. Someone had recommended that I make a what's in my personal uh, YouTube subscription feed, the people I like to watch, the kind of videos I like to watch, um, just, you know, for something a little different. And because we are online teaching for the last while, I found a program that I've been using for work, but it allows you to record your screen, like in your computer, as well as a little you know circle of your face so we're gonna try this out today um just gonna freestyle i have no script i made a playlist though of the people that i watch in different categories now before i get going though this is by no means exhaustive if after watching this video you really liked it and you want to see these more regularly i'd be happy to do so um these aren't necessarily like my favorite out of the favorites out of the favorites these are just people who i i watch often almost all every time they upload and I think they're really interesting. Um, I skipped over like all the popular people, um, you know, like popular like in the hundreds of thousands or millions of subbies because I find sometimes I, I really go on and off of their channels often. Regardless, this is my current. Uh, some of the people I currently really love to watch. There we go, should have kept it short. Okay, um, let's start. I've put this in kind of three categories as you can see. I have one category for just general hobbies. This includes things like um, kind of food, kind of um, makeup, kind of like sewing and stuff like that. I actually have a lot of sewing-ish recommendations, but they're just too many to put in here. Um, but I just have a little bit of everything, things I like to do and uh, that I kind of enjoy. So um, I think there's one, yeah, there's one that doesn't quite fit in here, but we'll get to that later. I was just trying to categorize them so it makes sense. Okay, the next category I have is miscellaneous. It's just kind of like random bits and pieces. You get a little preview over here. And the third category I have, which is a category I've been leaning more towards watching and just on my own time is a kind of lifestyle and vlog. So I'll recommend a few of those people as well. So, okay, why don't we start with hobbies? Um, I don't know when I click on their videos, if you can hear the sound playing, I'm going to mute it just so I can talk over it. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Um, the first person actually if i click on it i wonder i challenge oh. you oh to that's find an ad that is perfectly mm. okay let me and then can i skip this slice it. yes i can i'm actually going to mute it as well um while you are looking at this on the screen so this channel is a korean channel and loads of these korean channels make really nice uh cooking baking videos now they're not the easiest to follow i don't speak korean but if you usually they'll be translated or have subtitles or something like that so if you really want to make something you definitely can um this person's channel is called jacond baking granted i don't know how to pronounce most of their channels unfortunately but what i really love to see is that they make the most beautiful cakes um it's a you know baking channel it's very soothing it's not like la 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 a lot of like just sensory things beaming at you it's like a calm channel and they have some like gorgeous um cakes going on so i'm gonna actually get rid of that um i hope you can see my mouse as i mouse over them there's like a raspberry cake sweet potato cake and they're just done so beautifully and the way the cakes are iced are like so nice matcha cheesecake strawberry cake um here why don't we click into strawberry cake um it's just nice to watch the process sometimes, even if I'm not actually making it myself. Like it's it's so it's so perfect, <laughs> which is kind of why I like watching this channel. Um, I don't actually make anything or haven't made anything yet from what they have. Um, yeah, would have put out there, but I do enjoy watching them. Okay, let's go back. Can I go back to my playlist? Uh, yes. Okay. 
um, jumping around in no order. Uh, this is Liz Sews. Now she is a sewing channel as per her name. I'm going to click through to her uh, channel page here. And what, you know, beyond the other like garment sewing and stuff, she specialized she really enjoys sewing bras and undergarments and she does them so beautifully um i wonder if i can show you an example i think in this video she did have some um, of her makes a lot of people are like quilters in the sewing community and some people are garment makers and you don't find a lot of people who really enjoy making like bras and stuff and bras are like super intense they're not something i would normally make here can i find you one here we go so she shows one over here and they're just like cool and bras seem so complicated and i don't think i would ever go there but i just like watching and seeing what she's put together she does have a few um undergarment making tutorials if you're interested um she does a lot of like very feminine fitted um dresses that she makes but the bras and undies <laughs> I feel like really strange saying this, but that is the highlight of her channel. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you're trying to learn how to um, make some of those things, I think Liz Sews is the one to watch. So really enjoy her as well. And she's just kind of a cool lady. Um, next, I've got, I wonder if I can just open new tab. Maybe I can. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, instead of going back to the playlist every time. Uh, this is Mo Thompson. I love watching Mel because she's just, you know, gives it to you in an easy conversation. Her laugh is a little kooky, but you get used to it. And um, she is wearing a wig here. She's usually like bleached and shaved. Super cool look. And she just seems like, you know, a really nice casual channel to watch. She does have quite a number of subscribers. Um, she buys a lot of stuff <laughs> and not in a bad way whatsoever I like the fact she buys almost everything because then I get to see swatches I get to see like them being applied like you know when the new Natasha Natasha Denona came out like she's on it when NARS comes out when like Chanel all that stuff so she's really with it in the beauty realm um so you can see some of her thumbnails here she's like you know I think like a one all the way around and like bleached. Um, but recently she's been wearing a wig because her she's having some scalp issues. Not that it matters, but she's just kind of cool. I like watching her. I like putting her on in the background while um, I do other things. So Mel is someone that I usually just click through all of her videos regardless. She does do reviews as well. I like what she does the hauls um, and just like quick demo. So Mel is kind of cool. Okay, let's get out of here. And I'm going to go to a food video. Now, I discovered this channel when I was looking at how to make jiajiangmian, like more authentic style jiajiangmian. This is a Chinese food channel. Um, there might be a couple recipes that veer a little bit in other um, directions, but for the most part, Chinese food, it is in Chinese. I feel like if you turn on the subtitles, you probably could get um, some other, you know, captions um, auto-translated. Otherwise, I wonder if there's a blog. No, they don't have a blog with recipes. So you just kind of have to fiddle along or um, understand Chinese or follow by the pictures or the video. Um, I really like the variety of different foods that they cover. So they cover vegetarian dishes, homestyle meals, you know, more popular things. Um, they do some bread and baking stuff as well, but very like Chinese food focused. And I like that. Um, I speak both Mandarin and Cantonese. So regardless of who they have on the show, for the most part, I do okay. So really like this. I highly recommend this one if you are um, looking to get more into Chinese food. All right, next up, oh, let's go to another food channel. This one is a, another Korean channel, um, a lot of baking called Cooking Tree. And I, this is very similar to that cake channel I showed you in the first, um, the first recommendation. I just kind of like watching them cook and bake and it's really calming and you kind of get a feel of how things are put together even if you're not like making the exact recipe. 
Um, I recently bought a KitchenAid Artisan Mini Stand Mixer, so I've been doing a little bit more baking. Um, mostly carbs and breads though, not quite cakes, but hey, who knows, we might get there. So Cooking Tree, I'll click through to their homepage. Oops. Just some really neat, um, mostly pastries and cakes, you know, they'll do like the occasional trendy stuff like the uh, the what is it the foamy coffee and stuff like that but I feel like these are all just really well made and not only the videos are well made but the um, the foods are well made as well so that will give you a look there um, yeah I just I like watching them cook okay let's go to our next one. Oh, here's another food one I realize there is a lot of food ones in here but we'll get back to beauty in a sec I was just kind of scrolling through my sub list and um, adding people into different category here's another ad let's get rid of this please and thank you okay um, this is Remus Kitchen and it is a Cantonese um, speaking cooking channel I don't know too much of the background of I this guy who's doing the show <laughs> um, but it is done in Cantonese now let me see if there is a blog okay there is a Weibo which is kind of like a blog I wonder if there's actually recipes in here I'm not a hundred percent sure I don't I haven't clicked through and checked there's Instagram there is a Weibo and there's Facebook but um, he does, you know, teach and speak in Cantonese. Um, a lot of the dishes are like home style dishes. Here he's making um, Chinese sausage, Chinese sausage sticky rice, which is delicious. If you're really craving kind of home style cooked foods, um, this might be the channel to go to. I feel like this is very, for the most part, Cantonese um, cuisine based. And again, he speaks in Cantonese. If you can kind of make do with that you'll be just fine or if you speak Cantonese you'll be just fine as well I actually like listening sometimes to these um, Cantonese channels just to keep up my Cantonese because no one in my immediate um, associations really speak Cantonese although I do and it's kind of I just don't want to lose it so I do watch channels like this um, somewhat frequently so this is a relatively new channel to me um, but it seems like they upload fairly frequently so there you go Cantonese food can't go wrong okay let's go to honey kiki and honey kiki is um, another food channel god these okay these Korean food channels are just mmm they're so good um, again a mix of different kinds of food this is not like baking specific or anything like that um, really calm and easy to follow along if you actually want to make any of these things I just like watching them to be honest um, there I believe honey Kiki does have like the English uh, captions like put into the video so you can follow along stuff like three ways egg benedict or like pasta ragu or like bing bing bop or like fruit roll cake you know I'll just scroll through so you can have a look um, it is food but it's like all kinds of different kinds of food a lot of times Korean but not just Korean food which is I, I like that so yeah just a really pleasant channel to watch okay I can't even tell how long we've been filming I feel like it's been a while so if, I think once we get through um, the hobbies playlist I might have to break up the other ones into another video but I'll put them up together for all of you okay next let's get to some makeup uh, this is Daisy Cash I watch Daisy on and off, but more on than not. She's just got this really chill, um, natural-ish makeup situation really like done really well. She has completely different like skin tone and features than I do, but I like watching her put on makeup. <laughs> If that makes any sense. Um, she uses a lot of drugstore products as well, which is nice if you're into that as well. She does a lot of tutorials. She gets like real up and close, you know, not like load of filters and you can't see what's happening. Um, she's just kind of real and I, I like that. So even though I don't necessarily do a lot of the makeup that she does, um, I like watching her channel. So I'll scroll through and show you. 
a few more of what she's got. She does, like, she's just, for the most part, just beauty. And, um, you know, some beauty favorites, um, like, tutorials for looks. Uh, she'll do hair once in a while. She's just, like, she just got this really, like, cool but pretty and, yeah, like, Girl next door, but stepped up a few notches kind of look. I like it. So I watch Stacy fairly frequently, even though maybe not every single video. So I would recommend that. Okay, if you are, if you're a glam girl or you just like watching high end makeup hauls, uh, Erin Nicole TV. She is like Barbie from Miami. I don't know if she actually lives in Miami. Maybe she does. I think Florida somewhere. I believe when she first got started, when I first um, started watching her, she was a makeup artist or counter manager for Chanel. So I was looking at some Chanel makeup and then got directed to her channel. And now she does a whole bunch of stuff. She's like pink and bronzy and blonde and balayage and that whole thing. She's always impeccably put together. So there's that <laughs> as I'm filming this sitting in my by like leggings and t-shirt but I just like watching her when you want to feel kind of super girly and glam she's the channel I go and watch um lighting is great she's easy to follow she's very pleasant and likable um she's mostly beauty and a lot of times high-end beauty um which you know, sometimes you need people to try stuff out for you, so you don't need to try them out for yourself. So she's one I do really like to watch. She's just really pleasant um, and super girly. <laughs> so if that's her cup of tea, you know who to go to now, Erin Nicole TV. Um, okay, another one who is into a lot of high-end makeup, mostly high-end. Loads of you might be familiar with her, Michelle Wang. She's really blown up in the last while, and for good reason. She does loads of hauls, she throws money all over the place, um, but for our benefit though. Um, she is actually, I believe she's a knitwear designer or, wear, or works in knitwear, which I think is super cool. Um, but she does all these hauls like Tom Ford and Cicely and Shanta Kai and <laughs> all the stuff that I can't be throwing my money at all the time. She just, she gets them and she shows them to you and she puts them on her face. I like that um, she is an Asian blogger, so her features are a bit more similar to mine. We do our makeup completely differently, I would say. Um, yeah, but... I still just like watching her and I like to watch her hauls. She's pretty much exclusively beauty, sometimes skincare. I think her best videos are probably ones about brushes. She's super into brushes and very um, knowledgeable. So if you're like a brush fiend, this is where you go. And um, yeah, just go to her for like new stuff that's coming out. She'll buy anything and everything kind of deal. Just keeping it real. There you go. There's Michelle. Okay, let's go to, I have two more, and I'll wrap up this particular uh, video. Uh, this is Minnie Small. I really like Minnie. She is an artist and um, a shop owner, um, online shop owner. She's so calm um, and chill in her videos, but really honest and authentic in the way that she presents um, her struggles as an artist um, and the creative process, the creative journey. She does a lot of draw with me's. Um, she does work in traditional mediums uh, more often than, than other artists that I follow. Um, it's just nice and her vlogs are very soothing. I put them on the background often if I'm doing other stuff or like put my headphones on and she gets really real about you know for example here she has a video about how I overcome the fear of making bad art. I feel this very strongly <laughs> um, and it's just a lot of other things. Um, you know I started out really in my in my younger years really wanting to do arts and applied arts and I'm getting a bit more back into arts even though my job has nothing to do with arts really um so yeah I, I have been watching a lot of um, arts channels I just really like Minnie she's she's a cool girl so last one um Brittany J Jones is a sewing channel and if you are looking for a smile she's got the biggest smile and just really warm um 
and puts you in a good mood. You know, her videos are fairly short, so if you want to see those longer videos without having to click through to multiple ones, unfortunately, you're not going to get that. How do I get rid of this? Please go away. Ooh. Okay, there we go. So yeah, um, she is exclusively sewing and she would do fabric hauls and oh, so long tutorials. She does a lot of big four, big three, big four sewing tutorials like, you know, McCall's, Butterick, Vogue, uh, Simplicity. So I guess that's four. Um, so if you buy a lot of those patterns, she will often do sew along through them. She just got a really warm spirit and demeanor about her. You can help but smile when you watch a uh, Britney video um yeah i i like her i wish she made longer videos but she's busy i think she's is a she's a military military wife so she moves around a lot is my understanding but she always makes time to go to joanne's there we go really like britney if you haven't um seen her and i think her videos are easy to get into you don't need a lot of sewing knowledge um to watch britney so okay is that it i think that is it so that is my little playlist of people that I currently watch often. I will put the links to all of these people down below in the comments, no, in the description section of this video. Look out for the other parts. Um, I'm going to make one recommendation for miscellaneous content I like to watch and one for vlogs and lifestyle. So most likely those will be the next videos as we don't want to keep this too long and I'm sure it already is. So enjoy. Let me know who you love watching. Do we share any common um, channel favorites? Um, leave me a comment down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you really loved it. I will see you next time. Bye everybody.